Hi, I'm Scott Thompson from expertvillage.com and today I'm going to demonstrate Bernoulli's theorem using a soda bottle and a ping pong ball. The next thing to do is to take a ping pong ball and make a big deal with the students about how lightweight the ball is, how you can blow the ball back and forth, how just your breath can get that ball moving and then you can blow it right out of their hand right onto the floor. That's to get them thinking about air pressure, that it can do work. Then for extra fun, uh, because you know about how this works and they perhaps don't, you can sort of uh, even bet them a dollar or 50 cents or five dollars that no student can blow that ping pong ball out of this cup. And it really is impossible, but again, it's new to them, so they don't know. They just remember how light the ball is. Put it in the cup and have maybe the biggest, strongest student come up and try to blow. And I'll try it right here. And that's pretty much as far as you'll see that ball ever leave that cup. And it just frustrates the students because they, again, remember how light the ball is. If you choose to just use a few of these cups for a whole class of students that want to come up and try this, I've had a, some wet naps, some kind of antiseptic naps that you can, you can wipe off so they can all try it. Otherwise, just spread some germs around. But that's how it works. It's impossible to blow out. 